Good morning, everybody. Aaron Walsh again with the Goose Egg Guide. Uh, we're going to talk about how we're going to calibrate this head into flex mode now. Um, up here, we were just, we're actually on a 70 series combine too, so it's going to be a little different on a 60 series S series. But uh, 70 series, we want to make sure that we have this button pressed, which is right up here, our triangle with the up and down. Uh, this one, uh, that's going to be our feeder house sensor. Uh, the top one was our auto header height. And then we want to make sure that our contour master is on, which is right down here. Uh, we definitely don't want to have this float one on, which is the header with the wavy line underneath. You can have your real ones on if you want, uh, but at least these three right here need to be populated. So now we're going to move down to our armrest and actually do the calibration. Um, first and foremost, we want to go over, so we're on to our diagnostic calibration. Hit that once, hit it again, go to page two. Uh, calibration, sometimes header's not in there, and you might just have to scroll till you find header. Uh, when we get in there, we're going to hit accept. And now we're going to go, make sure your parking brake's on. We're going to go to high idle. we got to decrease our cutter bar pressure. Where is that? That's actually the triangle with the wavy line down here. We need to press that. It's going to show up up top, but that's okay because we'll just dial it down. And as we dial it down, under a thousand or close to, um, it's going to change this screen down here to say lower feeder house resting on the ground. So now we're just going to drop our head down until we're sitting on the ground. And what I like to do is get down so that you're as low as you're ever going to cut in flex mode. And the reason is, is because, and then you just hit accept. The reason is, is if we go, if we don't go low enough. Um, we're going to end up having issues going below 0.5 volts. Now we just continue to raise that head, so it's taking our bottom and our high number, and it's going to say flex mode calibrated. For some people, depending on software, this is going to be the end. But with newer software, you'll hit accept. You're going to calibrate, uh, save the calibration, accept again. Now it's going to do into a kind of a fine tuning, uh, and all you do is just hold that head down. And then it's just gonna kind of fine tune it uh, where we're at. You see, it just kind of bounces around a little bit. All right, now we're done. Uh, calibration is successful. Uh, we can go back to low idle. If you ever want to check to make sure uh, that your calibration did work, turn your header on, just the header, not the separator, and then press your number two, press your number three. And I would suggest number two. You know, maybe be about that 14, 1400 PSI and three, maybe 1200, uh, just to start out with. And, but make sure you turn this header switch off because next time when you turn on the combine, it will not start. So thank you and have a great day.